Take a look at this regular laptop. This is 34% plastic, 14% non-ferrous metals, 11% copper iron alloys, 32% ferrous metals, and 1% circuit boards. And almost 100% can be recycled. Let's take a closer look at the WEEE concept we have developed to meet Hong Kong's needs. Eight satellite locations will serve as convenient collection points for the general public to dispose of their electronic waste. These are linked to five regional collection centres. Together, these form our integrated collection network for the facility in Eco Park. The WEEE treatment and recycling facility design is based on experience gained from many years of operational performance and utilizes state-of-the-art German technology. From 2017 onwards, Hong Kong is going to have a state-of-the-art recycling and treatment facility for refrigerators, air conditioners, washing machines, IT equipment and the disassembly of flat screens. This facility is not only about the recovery of valuable material, but we make sure that the electronic waste is handled safely and in an environmentally sound way. Let's take a closer look at the individual treatment lines. The first line is designated for refrigerators and freezers. The complete recovery of the refrigerants contained in the cooling circuits and the installation of the appliances is the primary objective, since those substances pose a significant environmental hazard. In line 2, air conditioners will be processed. In a similar way to line 1, the recovery of refrigerants is its main objective. Line 3 will handle large household appliances like washing machines and IT equipment such as desktop computers, printers and scanners. The process employs a combination of manual and automated sorting which ensures the complete separation of parts containing harmful substances like condensers and batteries. The fourth treatment line is designated for TVs and computer screens of all types and sizes. Conventional CRTs will be dismantled manually. For flat screen displays, a new half-automated process will be applied. LCD screens enter a closed chamber where a robot measures the screen and cuts off its backlighting that contains mercury. The closed design ensures that no mercury is released into the environment. More than 85% of the material coming into the facility is recovered in the form of plastics, ferrous metals, copper and aluminium, ready to be used as clean secondary raw materials for re-manufacture. All over the world people are using more and more electronic devices. Products become obsolete sooner and raw materials are getting scarce. But we will continue to build on our innovations.